behalf of the half of the Attorney General's office. This is the state of South Carolina versus Curtis Edward Smith, State Grand Jury Indictment 2022 GS 47-10. As your honor knows, this was a 12-count indictment. Judge, uh, procedurally, he appeared before your honor on June 28, 2022 for his initial bond setting. Your Honor gave uh, the defendant a $250,000 bond, house arrest, QP, test monitoring, several other standard conditions for the state grand jury. On August 11th of 2022, uh, on the state's motion, we all, uh, Mr. Warners appeared before Your Honor and asked that Your Honor uh, revoke uh, Mr. Smith's bond. At that time, Your Honor did revoke his bond now, we are here today on behalf of uh, his attorneys, Ms. Amy Zinnercheck and Jared Pichet. We have a motion to reinstate the bond. Thank you, Your Honor. I'll begin briefly. Um, we did file a motion to reinstate bond. Um, Mr. Smith has been in jail since, um, since the revocation hearing. Um, as you can see, physically, he has changed a lot, probably. From the last time you were in front of him, he's gained quite a bit of weight. He's had a lot of medical issues, Your Honor, and um, that, that we need to address. Um, additionally, Your Honor, he has been uh, fully cooperative with the uh, the Attorney General's office in these matters. Um, and then I believe the rest of the information, Mr. Bichette, has about how many days he's been. Your Honor, I just want to since the time of revocation, it's been 235 days on my account. Have been incarcerated on these charges. Um, as Ms. Zimichek said, uh, he's been fully cooperative with the government. I don't think there's really a dispute about that. And we think that um, if we lessen the burden, like a better term, um, that arose out of the revocation is um, not one that needs to be learned again. Um, that he was uh, fully committed to the Biden by the letter of this court's order going forward as we litigate these issues. And we just asked the court to uh, reinstitute the bond that we did back in June of last year. And Your Honor, we are prepared to uh, say some other things uh, if you're on the right case. Yes, sir. May it please the court. Um, Judge, we wouldn't be back here and most respectfully asking you to consider that. Uh, just for no reason. Um, when I got involved in this case, what case last, last, last year, and I reached out to his attorneys, Mr. Bouchette, and as a result of that, Mr. Smith and I both uh, had several meetings with Mr. Smith before the trial. Uh, during the trial, I met with him uh, in anticipation of his potential testimony in the case against uh, Richard Alexander Murdoch. So she cooperated with both Mr. Lincoln and myself, numerous interviews, numerous hours. Uh, no deal has been uh, reached with Mr. Smith. I asked him and Mr. Lincoln did for his cooperation uh, through his attorneys and through Mr. Smith to agree to do that. Uh, he was prepared to do that, I believe. Um, and if he had been called upon, again, the decision was made not to call him, then there was an issue whether or not we may or may not be calling him or reply decision was made not to, um, but he fully cooperated with us throughout this process and was willing to testify called call uh, one. Based upon my years of experience, I think he would have testified briefly. Um, I did tell them, again, I didn't promise them anything except that I would take his cooperation into consideration and bring that forward to the court. After the trial was over, um, his attorneys approached us said, would you be willing to consider a uh, reinstate the bond? Um, I said, I had to check. And I wouldn't be here before you asking you to put yourself in a position if I had to check. I wouldn't do that to the court. Because um, we did check with all the authorities and uh, attorney general's office. I checked with law enforcement. They are aware of this proceeding. Um, Dr. Bellwater, they trust our government. Uh, he was uh, willing to cooperate. Uh, and I feel, uh, I feel it's the right thing to do to ask your honor to 
respect to yes, Your Honor. And obviously, Your Honor, in revoking this bond, did the right thing. There's no question about that. And I am certainly not questioning that. Uh, since that time, in my involvement with Mr. Zelenka, he has cooperated completely. And we are asking Your Honor to take that into consideration. And the state is asking Your Honor, respectfully, if you would reinstate his bond with the exact same conditions. House arrest, GPS, monitoring of uh, Drug tests, you know, if, you, if your honor feels it's appropriate, if you don't, if your honor, no one respects you more than I do. Uh, but I'm just trying to put on the record and fulfill my obligation. I believe that I did promise I'd, uh, in the exchange of their cooperation, I would tell the court, uh, I think I did what I promised you. Uh, Judge, I, I do want to highlight one thing uh, his prior record. We were seeing stolen goods back in 1985 and a simple assault and battery in 2002. The only other involvement he has had in their any target or when he got involved with the Richard Downs and Murdoch. Other than that, he has no fire. Now, he's like No. Uh, we speak with one voice on the strong. All right, Ms. Sam Rocha. Thank you, Your Honor. Um, we um, absolutely appreciate the consideration and consent of the Attorney General's office. Uh, I can't tell you how many hours of emails and telephone calls and meetings with Mr. Smith that I've had. He understands. Can I send you emails? Yes, Your Honor. Thank you. Um, and, and quite honestly, it saved me the time going down there, so I, I love it. Um, but, Your Honor, um, it. Um, the focus, I can tell you, the focus of our conversations have been how important it is that he understands exactly what this court is directing him to do. And, Your Honor, his bondsman is here in attendance um, and prepared to uh, sit here. Who is that bondsman? And what's your name, sir? Benjamin Mark, Benji's Bill Wadi. Benji Bill. Benji's Bill Wadi. My name is Benjamin Mark. Benjamin Mark. Benji's Bill Wadi. Yes. And why are you here? Uh, I was uh, contacted to the but they were going to uh, look at re reinstating his bond, and I'm just here to you know, bring my sign off on it. It would be that court seat video. He was in agreement, Your Honor, to, to, to remain on the bond if it were to be reinstated. Is that right, Mr. Robert? Yes, sir. All right, thank you. And Mr. Smith understands. Um, the parameters of, of the home detention and the GPS monitoring, Your Honor, as well as all of the other conditions, no guns, um, anything else that the court feel, felt like it, it had put in its order, and of course anything else that the court may need to add. But Your Honor, at this point, we would just respectfully ask that you reinstate this bond. Mr. Chair, anything else? No. Mr. Smith, what do you have to say? Yes, Your yeah. Honor. Uh, I understand the significance of these cases that tied in with Alex Murdoch, and I totally understand the importance of the letter of my mom. And if I can own my property, ain't nobody gonna drag me off. Nowhere. Thank you. How many pounds have you gained? How many pounds have you gained? Oh, uh, about 55. My sugar goes to short, blood pressure goes to short, so I mean, just a lot of pounds. How many pounds have you gained? Oh, about 55. My sugar goes to short, and I got a titanium rod and screwed in my back, and I have not been able to get any medical treatment for my pain for eight months. And, and all of that caused me to gain weight, or? Yes, sir. Not being able to get any exercise. I'm used to working in a yard, and I work all day. I enjoy work. And I haven't been able to do anything. Anything further? So you're asking me to uh, reinstate the bond with the same conditions? Yes. And um, uh, the bond that was previously um, ordered was a shared bond. And, uh, some of two hundred and fifty thousand dollars, no ten percent allowance. The defendant is not 
not to leave the state of South Carolina without uh, permission of the court uh, at the request of the state and or uh, at his own expense to finish uh, these objective and drug tests and it must appear at whatever facility designated by the state for drug testing shall have no contact with any co-defendant or witnesses including victims or victims' families, if any. And does not have a current passport, its passport is expired. Shall not sell or encumber any property while on bond without permission of the court. It must appear at all scheduled hearings and the trial must keep the clerk of the court, the clerk of the state grand jury, advised of his current home address and phone numbers so that any notices can be sent if necessary. Mr. Um, Smith understands that any future violations of any federal, state, or local laws will be considered a violation of the bond and grounds for revoking the bond. And understands that he has a right to be present at the trial, and his, it's his responsibility to maintain contact with his lawyers and the court, uh, such that he will be present whenever called upon to be present, and that the bond must be a sufficient surety in a, man, in a, man, in a matter prescribed by the truth by the court. The court grand jury must waive that condition and he is placed on house arrest without exception except to work, church, schools, attorney, or medical appointments. And I think the last time Mr. Smith was understand that you took that word work interpreted that to mean that you could go any place you want to go as long as you said you were working. You uh -huh. ended up going all kinds of places. Yes, Your Honor, I went to places I was supposed to go without another thing. Uh, yes, sir. So what kind of work do you consider yourself to be doing? I'm a truck driver, diesel mechanic, uh, working log and wood to haul chips from the paper mills, from the, I mean, from the power plants to the cement plants. The same value as they so any work um, related travel must be approved by the court after notice through the lawyer in the state yes, so sir. that any um, direction of travel will be um, included in the GPS monitor so that everyone will know where you're going. And you must pay for GPS monitoring at your own expense which must be connected to a device upon your release from jail and you cannot possess any firearms. And um, we understand if this body is reinstated, Mr. Smith, there must will be a strict compliance with it. Yeah. No deviation, no leniency, no latitude in any way. Yes, Your Honor. It will be unsafe. Anything else? Okay, Your Honor, we'll get you that work route this week and we'll get it to the Attorney General's office as well. Okay. Uh, two things. First, the court will order the bond to be reinstated upon the terms as the just stated, which are the same terms as before. Uh, and secondly, concerning this case and the status of it. We're in the process of scheduling status conferences on all of these cases, um, except Mr. Harpoon has indicated his unavailability until the term of the legislature is on the person. That does not affect Mr. Smith and some of the other co-defendants. I believe, Your Honor, um, April 21st is what we require. 
about your clerk that, that worked for that worked for both defense attorneys. We'll certainly check with everyone in the office and get back or quickly, Your Honor. Thank Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Your Honor. 